Hello all, Shoestring here. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to properly connect two AGM 12 volt batteries. Each of these batteries I bought at Harbor Freight. They're 35 amp hours and they are, like I said, AGM. So they don't require any maintenance. They generally cost around $72. I got them at a sale for around 58 you should watch Harbor Freight for sales. These small batteries are really good for a lot of small, short jobs, like camping, when you want to charge up one of your electrical devices that's small and doesn't take a lot of power. So what we're going to do is we are going to do this the right way, and we're going to do it in parallel, which will keep both 12-volt batteries still at 12 volt but will we'll increase the time how much you can run it. 35 amp hours and 35 amp hours will give you just around 70 amp hours, depending on how you're using it. Okay, let's start out as we normally do, checking the voltage on each one. We want to do that before we start, because we would like the voltage to be approximately the same when we start. Okay. So our first battery here, red to red, black to black, 13.1, 13.1. Okay, let's check the next one. Let it go to zero. Now we'll check the next one. And it is 13.0. So they are just about the same. In fact, they are close enough to say they are the same. You want to check that. You want your batteries to be the same state of charge when you begin. I'm going to be using four gauge cable. A little bit longer than I would normally use, but in this case I want it for demonstration purposes, so I want everyone to be able to see it, exactly what I'm doing. These are a little bit different than you would do a regular deep cycle battery. Regular deep cycle battery has the car post everyone is used to. These, of course, are a little bit different. I always use washers. Washers keep it nice and smooth. And I like to connect it to the outside because it's easier to reach on the outside. Simply take it, put it in like that. And of course, when you're doing a video like this and you say simply do something, then you know something is going to go wrong because no matter how easy the task is, when it's being videotaped, well, everybody knows there's going to be something that will go wrong. Okay, I always do negative to negative first, just for safety reasons, which is what I'm doing now. Negative to negative. And later we'll do positive to positive. Like I said, these are 12 volt batteries. Once I get these connected, they will theoretically do twice. Let me get this on real quick. Now this is just finger tight to show you. When you do it yourself, you'll want to do it much tighter. So 35 amp hours, you'll get about double that. So let's make sure I'm clear on that as I move over to do the positive. When I do parallel, the voltage will not change. It will stay 12 volts, which is what I want. 12 volts. What I will be doing is increasing the time you can have the load on the battery. Because instead of 35 amp hours, you will have approximately 70, let me get that real tight for you, approximately 70 amp hours. But of course, 
Everything will depend on how much your load is and what kind of AGM and what type of battery you're using. Want to keep these as flush as possible. All right, we have that one on tight. Like I said, these are just finger tight. You will want to do tighten it really well when you're doing it for real. So they are now connected. They're connected properly. I'm using 4 gauge, which, which I like to use on these type of batteries. It is a little long, but that's on purpose. That's because I want everyone to see just how they're connected and how it's done. Now, let's check the voltage again. 13.1. Okay, now, let's do another small test. We'll be using... This Everstart 400 watt inverter I got from Walmart. It works fairly well for small items. We're going to connect it negative to negative, positive to positive, and we're going to turn it on. It says it's at 12.9, but of course, the inverters and multimeters will be a little different. And this is now ready to go. You now have these both connected. They're connected in parallel. And you now have the same voltage. You still have 12 volts. And you are running these volts for twice the amount of, the amount of time you could for any individual battery. So here you can see all around the battery that we've connected. Like I said, this is a 12 volt battery. It's a Thunderbolt. I got it from Harbor Freight for about $54 to $58, somewhere right in there. You have the positive on top, of course. Negative, little different than car batteries because the posts look different. Give you a good look at them, exactly how they're connected. And as long as you do this exactly the way we did it, You'll have no problems out of your battery, and you'll be able to extend the life of whatever equipment is you're doing. If you like this video, please subscribe, click like, and put in a comment. I like to hear comments. If I didn't explain something well, please tell me and I will do it again. If you didn't see something that I did, please let me know and we will go through it again. If you want to see me do other type of batteries, connect the proper way you let me know. Shoestring out.